channel in case this is your first time here hi my name is linda and on this channel we do everything home talking about home guys today we are going to be doing a mini kitchen refresh or a kitchen makeover part one of that because i intend to do this in parts so that by the time i'll be done like my whole kitchen will be done so today i want to concentrate on uh, my pantry as you all guys if you have been here for quite some time you know my kitchen is quite small I don't have storage guys in this kitchen so I'm just working on you know things to do with storage so that I can have a little bit more storage in this house to store my stuff so as you can see guys this from like here up to somewhere here those are the only cabinets that came with this um, house and also down here I have a few extra cabinets and then this is the counter space guys I will show you once I'm done with this intro, I'll show you how it looks like. But for today guys, I want to concentrate on like a pantry makeover because really I have always, always wanted a pantry in my kitchen. But because of space, the kitchen is pretty small. And as you can see guys, my kitchen is tiled all around. So I was talking to my fundi. Yeah, it's called a fundi. I don't know how, how are they called in English? Fundi carpenter? I think so. So I was talking to my fundi and you know he came to look at this because my initial plan was to just add like uh, some shelves in this kitchen especially on this other wall I wanted to add some shelves here to like, give me uh, more space but because the wall is tile he was like we might spoil the tiles and by the time that I'll be moving out you know I'll have to look for these exact tiles for them to be replaced and this I don't want that hassle so we walked around something and you know he was like he's going if he will add he will add a few like two or three shelves on this wall but what is what he's going to do i don't know if you can see the grout area let me turn here yeah guys where the tiles end where they have uh, like put the what is it called it's called the grout area like this one so he was like he can walk around something so that he can you know drill in between the tiles so that we don't spoil the tile so I'm waiting on him to come and see if it will be possible if, if, if it will not be possible then we will have to find another solution for this guys so that's what I'm up to today I want to do you know like a pantry makeover because I think I found a solution for like my pantry I will show you that guys later because in the meantime, I just want to do like clean this jars. And guys, if you have not watched that video that I did post uh, the other day for where to get your pantry jars, go watch it or I will link it down in the description box or up here somewhere here. I will link it there so that you can go watch and know where to get these storage containers from. So I want to clean them and then, you know, do a little bit of a DIY pantry makeover i don't know if to call it a makeover or a refresh because we have never like had a pantry in this kitchen this is just a diy thing so let's just call it a makeover guys because i don't know what to call it so that's what i'm going to be doing today so let's first of all wash these uh just let them air dry as we concentrate on the other things because i want to do today i want to do a few little things here and there and also i'm waiting for my we need to get here so that we can know if we are going to drill this wall but first before we drill the main like wall i have a small space over there i have a small space over here i'll just show you when i turn the camera where we want to test with like just two tiles like drill in between two tiles to see if it's something that you know will work or not so guys let's do this and if you are new here guys please subscribe we are still on the road to 2k subscribers kindly subscribe to this channel 
and you know get me to 2k and i would really appreciate and for my premier girl thank you so much for being always always being here to support your girl here i do appreciate i don't take it for granted guys and for my returning subscribers you guys i really love you so much i appreciate you thank you from the bottom of my heart for always coming back to watch my content i don't take it for granted may god bless you and bless your hustle whatever your heart you know is wishing for whatever your heart is desiring for i pray that you know our god will fulfill your heart's desires so guys let's just get right into today's video how this kitchen usually is so that you get a picture of what I'm talking about so guys I'm standing at my door the kitchen door so this is how this kitchen looks like like right here I have my fridge here and then that's how that area is just assume that area because I'm in the middle of you know organizing and arranging everything so everything is everywhere don't mind that so guys this is how the kitchen looks on this side and as I was telling you that's how this is all the cabinets that came with this kitchen as you can see just one two cabinets so like storing anything it's just like you know it's quite a very tiny space for my liking so these are the only cabinets that came with this kitchen so I store my uh, utensils in those two and then my spices over here and then up there is where I store my you know I buy things in bulk let's say like ugali flour that's flour rice beans you know all those things that you do not need like really on a daily basis they usually stay up there so whenever I need them I have to like climb up there so that i can be able to get to them and then like over there you just have my coffee maker toaster mixer you know all those shenanigans and over there is where we have the window i hope you guys are seeing over there is where we have now the window and the door that door leads to the balcony and that's the window and on this side we don't have anything so my plan was to or my plan is to add on this side some shelves for you know more storage but what i was telling you earlier guys is this uh my fundi was telling me if we drill on these tiles chances are we might like spoil them and when the time comes for me to move out of this space it will be you know i'll have to replace the tiles so what he was saying he was saying we can alternatively drill between the tiles like right here where the tile ends the grout area this is this is called a grout i think so so he will grill in between here so that you know 
you can be able to add i want to add like three shelves here and guys as you can see my kitchen is tiled all of it is tiled on this side is now where i want to have like a small pantry and because i my food is advising me not to drill on this like wall from down upwards so i came up with a solution i did find a shelf that just goes up to like here i think it fits up to like here that shelf i'll show you that shelf in a minute that i did thr i thrifted so like i think it the height is up to here if i'm not wrong so we will put that shelf here and then on top here i want to add two more shelves this is where my, my phone is coming to test and see if we'll be able to drill in between the tiles so that i can hang like two shelves here for my you know so that i will place uh, like my electronics there so we want to hang like two shelves there and then up there we'll still either paint or leave it the way it is because it's like all round in this kitchen so let me show you guys uh, the shelves that we want to use but basically this is how this kitchen looks like it's not a big kitchen it's a small kitchen it just comes with the, those cabinets and then these um ooh, focus and those uh, cabinets down here remember when i was doing my bathroom um makeover in my bedroom that bathroom you remember i had some uh, wood so this is the wood that remained from that uh, small makeover so what i want to do is i want my fundi to you know like use these use this up here to see if we can be able to drill that wall so that's what I'm, I'm waiting for him to come and do and these are just the brackets that he will use to hold uh, this wood they are not like white they are just uh, they are narrow but they are perfect because right now I'm not using them they are just sitting here I can use them as you know storage so that's what I'm waiting for my fundi to come and we do that we see if it will be possible so that I have this so guys that's the shelf that i want to use as a pantry it doesn't go all the way up i wish it like went up to somewhere there but it's still okay so this is the shelf that i want to use as my pantry for now because as you can see guys i need storage in this kitchen i need a lot of storage so guys this shelf i did thrifted and guys i'm a thrifter by the way if you do not know i like thrifting so when i saw this uh, shelf i was like you know what i want this shelf and the owner was you know he was gracious enough to just you know gift it to me he was like you know i don't use this thing just take it and guys it was in a terrible terrible state i think i will just insert here a clip of uh, a before picture of this thing so what I did, I called my fundi, he came over, saw it, and he was like, I can do something on it. But now the previous owner guys had used nails on it. So that's why you see we have, I don't know if it's focusing. That's why you see we have like holes in here. We have holes over there, like even on top here. Let me show you the sides. I don't know if you... Okay, guys, yeah, over the side, you can see the way it's, um, what is this called? It's scratched on the sides, and it's on this side, and I think even on this side, you can see it's also scratched. So, um, this thing was in a terrible state, guys. It was, like, in pieces when, when I first saw it. So, but, you know, I love thrifting, and once I, I saw this, I was, like, you know, I can be able to you know revamp this into something beautiful in, into something that i might choose so that's why i took it and then i called my fundi he went and now he used these uh, what are they called he did drill with these um are they called nuts or screws i don't know <laughs> what they are called but he did not use nails and then he did add these um I don't know what is this called because it was not here before it was just a plain like brown 
board here so he did add all these and guys i'm happy with the results so what i want to do uh, in order for me to hide those uh, nails you know these holes over here here and there i think even here we have some down there it's okay so i'm going to use this contact paper you guys remember when i was doing my tv stand the tv stand makeover i had some contact paper like these ones the marble ones so i have these two and i want to use them to cover the sides the sides here the sides over here and then oh focus so i want to cover up here and then i'll cover the sides i'm thinking i can use my shelf liners or the drawer liner to just you know line it in here and let's you know line them all over until down there line them here to you know hide all those so i'm thinking i might just go with this option because it's way easier and faster and then on the sides i just use uh, this um, contact paper that's how it looks like it's a marble contact paper so that's what i'm going to do guys I'm 
taking time but I'm done that's how it looks like I remember this I had said I only covered the sides so I did cover this side and that's how it looks inside here but I'm not going to cover the inside part because I'm using the drawing aligner so I'll not cover this area and that's how it looks like now and so I feel like I should cover the inside part but I don't think I want to and then this how it looks like on this other side So guys, I did decide to go ahead and also cover this uh, table that I had had in this kitchen for quite some time. It's an old kitchen table. I decided to cover it with some countertop, you know, to just like refurbish it, give it a new look. And while I was doing that, I also decided to cover my countertops with the same contact paper. So you will see that in a bit. And guys, as I had talked to you earlier and told you that my fundi was supposed to come, he did not come so this is day two of this project he finally came at around like 4 pm did the two shelves and he promised to come back the next morning to finish up on the other wall of which guys up to now as i'm doing this way is over he's not here he's been giving me one excuse after the other but we all know how these kenyan fundies are so guys that's why this is a part one of this video i decided to just do it as a part one of this video so Let's just guys see how far we'll be able to go with this project. because oh, they are dusty so yeah they look really pretty I just wish they were in white but it's fine I'm, I will cover these two and then guys I did not know that these things come in sizes even the guy who sold it to me did not even ask me which size I wanted he just showed this to me and I picked them turns out these ones are big I needed to get uh, a small size so you can see we did not even hook here but we just did hook there there and down there even for this you can see it's a bit big so yeah but the shelves are up that's the small one and this is the big one so it's doable guys it's doable to like um, what is it called drill on the tiles but it's just a lot of work as you can see we did not even screw here and we did not even screw here because uh, we realized 
that this oopsie we realize that this socket here connects to that socket there and so it means the wiring was done across like this section so we did not want to mess with that so we left them we left them like that but I love the way they have come out more storage area for me plus that so it just now what's remaining for the guy to come and now do this area even though it's going to be a lot of work but now we know it's actually doable so yeah I'm done with this part of the kitchen. I did not plan to like put a countertop, this counter um, contact paper here on this countertop, but I had bought two and oh focus. And once I was done with this table, I was la I had remained with a lot of it, so I thought it would fit my counter space, but. It's just now that I'm realizing my countertop is big, not that big, but it's quite, uh, you know, I underestimated the space because as you can see from here, all this space is remaining. Oh, focus, what's happening? So all that space is remaining and the only paper I have remained with, the only contact paper I've remained with is this piece. It's too small. I have was trying to like fit it here, but it's not like fitting. So I have decided to leave this space until maybe I get uh, more contact paper, and then I'll just cover this part. But that's how that part looks like. Like I'm so glad it's matching. Like going up to that. Like we have that there. Then we have this here. Like it really looks nice but yeah so what's remaining because uh, the fundi came uh, so what's remaining is for me now to just organize arrange that shelf that we are calling a pantry now arrange that shelf and then you know just organize this kitchen because things are everywhere look at this table things are everywhere guys so What's remaining is for me to just organize and rearrange. I did decide guys to end this video right here because as I was editing I had like a full one hour video and I don't I don't want to give you guys a very lengthy video of just a makeover. So I decided to like do it into into two parts. So the other part will be seeing it maybe on Friday or on Sunday. You'll be seeing that video of the makeover part two where we'll now do the pantry organization and rearrange and reorganize this kitchen. And I hope that by that time my fundi would have come and you know have the other three shelves that I'm waiting on him to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, thank you so much. Kindly give this video a thumbs up. Share me out if you can. And I would really appreciate. Love and light. Bye-bye.